Hey, what up? This is Eddie from Eddie of 4 tv and today we are setting up a PlayStation 2 controller on PC. Yes, you heard right. A PlayStation 2 controller on PC. Now, for this setup, we just need a PlayStation 2 USB adapter and a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 1 controller. You can check the links in the description below. Now, this PlayStation 2 controller is pretty old. It might have like 10 or 12 years, maybe? So, uh, let's cross our fingers that this is going to work. So to learn how to set up the PlayStation 2 controller, let's go to the computer. Okay, so you know how the deal is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my PlayStation 2 USB adapter. Just to follow now, this one actually has two sockets or two ports, which means that this is going to be automatically detected as a two controller setup. So I would think that it has two controllers, but it really doesn't, you know what I mean? Anyways, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my PlayStation 2 controller into that. Well, actually, this is a PlayStation 1 controller. I just wanna make the emphasis that they work the same way, same uh, connector. So, I am going to connect my PlayStation 2 controller there. So, plug it in through USB, and you can obviously hear the beep. Now, as you know, I like to check to see if my devices have detected the controller correctly so okay so this is a twin usb joystick that is our adapter as you know i like to test the mouse i'm going to do the game controller setting okay so i'm going to test on the second one and there we go it is actually responding now i don't know if you remember but on playstation controllers the analog stick wouldn't work unless you turn it on so you press here and now it responds Okay, so we know that our controllers are okay. Um, we can close this out. Now, I just want to point out that I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can check me out at twitch.tv slash 4 tv Okay, so as you know, we like to test uh, things out. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and run the game to see if it actually works. As you can see, I am pressing the buttons right now. Now response, okay. So I'm closing the game right now. And as you know, what we like to do is actually come here, right click and go to browse local files. And we're gonna do our normal setup of the Xbox 360 controller emulator. So we're gonna go ahead Hop in here, copy the Xbox 360 controller emulator, which is actually also attached in the links in the description below. And you can go ahead and hop in, download that file, or you can go to the Xbox 360 controller emulator website. I'm going to drop it in into the game folder. Now remember, this is actually version 3, uh, which works by saving or adding the file into game folder. Version 4 doesn't require you to add them into the game folder. But we're going to go ahead and right click on it and run as an administrator. And then as you can see here, it is going to ask you to go ahead and create the BLL file. Just go ahead and click on create and just allow it to search and find out which is the game controller configuration. Now in this case, because the USB adapter actually has two ports, it believes that it has two different controllers connected. So he's detecting both of them, even though we only have one connected at a time. As you know, we have seen this error message happen before. Now, if you don't know how to fix this issue, you can go ahead and check the card up here, which actually details you how to fix this problem for any game controller. Now we're going to go ahead and configure um, our PlayStation 2 controller so that we can make sure that all the inputs are correct. Now, if you don't know how to do this part, you can go ahead and check also in the description below, I have added the configuration for a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1 controller, which you can set up by just downloading that file and adding it into your game folder. Okay, so now that we have configured our PlayStation controller into the Echo 3 controller emulator, you can go ahead and hit save. And that's about it. But now remember that this is trial and error. You need to change the X input DLL file for it to actually work correctly into your game folder. 
Now, in this case, because I've done this multiple times, I already know that the file you want to use or the name that you want to use is actually x input nine underscore one underscore zero. So I'm going to go ahead and close the Echo 360 control emulator. Go ahead and right click on the DLL file, rename it, and I'm going to go ahead and type in nine underscore one underscore zero. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to make sure to run my x 3 controller emulator once again just to verify that my configuration is actually saved and it tells me what kind of input I am using at the right corner. So as you can see here in the bottom right, it says x input 9 underscore 1 underscore 0 DLL, which means that he already configured or took in the DLL name that I changed, plus it actually took in also the configuration that I have saved. By the way, please let me know in the comments below which other control you would like me to crack down to set up on PC. I mean, now that we have closed our controller emulator, now we're going to run the game once again. Now, as you know, we like to test this out and you can hear that little beep there. That means that at least it detected the Equifix controller emulator inputs. So from here on, as you know, I like to test this out by just doing a button press and I should be able to skip the intro. Now, as you know, I was previously asked how to set up a PlayStation 2 controller on a PC and to play Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. And that is the game that we usually test out. So as I press the buttons or move the analog stick, you can see that it's already getting the inputs into the game. And as you know, we like to test it out with at least one fight to make sure that everything works okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And there you got it, a PlayStation 2 controller on PC. Now, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a brand new video. This is Eddie04. See you on the next one.